Hey, good morning, everybody. So last night, let me tell you what happened. I was cruising along, everything was good. I had a plan. I was gonna go past Prince George, try to make it up to the, uh, I forget the name of the town. Anyway, I had it mapped out. There's campgrounds there, that's what I was going for. But the route coming off of Highway 97, I'm supposed to catch Route 16 going north to Smithers. And uh, man, I sure missed it. <laughs> so I continued north and uh, about 20, 25 minutes into it, I was like, I, I just don't see, you know? So I figured out that I'd missed it. And uh, so I turned around, had to backtrack. So that, that gave me another almost an hour. And by that time it was already dark. So I just hoteled it up last night in Prince George. It gave me a chance to uh, back up all of my, you know, a lot of my data and stuff like that, free up my memory cards for today. But on the flip side, I'm refreshed, got my laundry done, got everything going. So it's about 8.30 right now in the morning. I did want to get out of here sooner than this, but um, I'm just getting caught up. So plan for today is I'm going to go load up the bike, which I'm doing right now. And then uh, we're gonna ride uh, northwest on Route 16 up to Smithers. And I should be there sometime this afternoon. I'm gonna stop along the way at anything that catches my eye, of course. And uh, yeah, we'll just continue this adventure. So let's load up the bike. <laughs> desk last night it was super nice and she said go ahead and just leave the bike where it is as long as it's out of the way and you know underneath the awning here and be all protected the bike's been doing great got no complaints been holding up really well and uh yeah just gonna take a minute and we'll pack this thing up in stages and then hit the road Okay, that was a quick run. For some reason, my card works at places like this. I can buy anything I want, but I can't withdraw cash from the ATM machines. I don't know what that's all about. Probably my bank stopping it from home, but thinking I'm a robber or something. Identity theft or something, I don't know. But it's quite annoying, and uh, but luckily the card works at the pump, so. Beautiful sky up there. It's cool. It's gonna be a good day. Hope it doesn't rain. No rain. No rain. So I should be up in Smithers. I'll definitely be there today. The map says four hours. About four hours on the highway or whatever. It's not a major highway, it's a back road highway. Not back road, but it's a smaller highway. And uh, it's probably going to take me closer to five. <laughs> that puts along and stop a lot. So, all right. Let us continue the journey.
center of British Columbia. I had to stop and take a picture of that. I mean, come on. Visit Highway 16's National Historic Sites in Northern BC. You know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do this. Or at least some of them anyway. There's Prince George. Vander Hoff. That's where I am now. So if I go short jaunt up here, I can go to Fort St. James, which is a National Historic Site. And if I go up to Smithers and a little bit further over, huh, yeah, I might check some of this out. I'm definitely going to go to Fort St. James. So I am a little bit concerned because I stopped to get gas a little bit ago and my card got declined for some reason. So I might have to be calling the bank here pretty soon because I have a feeling it's my bank going, he doesn't live up in British Columbia. I guess I should have told him I was coming, huh? <laughs> Yeah, probably would have been smart. That's beautiful. And it's everywhere. I hope a moose don't come out of here. Shit, that would be... It would be funny if there was like a moose this whole time, like right there, and I didn't even see him. I'd like to see a moose. I just don't want to see him the way my cousin Rob did 
on his way home from my house. He almost made it all the way home to Grand Prairie. And he hit a moose on his motorcycle. Moose and cousin are both fine. Motorcycle, not so much. Okay. Let's do this. Come on. Okay. So I'm about roughly 93 kilometers outside of Smithers now. So I should be there fairly soon within the hour. Plug in my charging unit here so everything will start charging up again. Notice how windy it is? It's getting blown all over the road, I can tell you that. But, uh,
I made it. I made it to Smithers. This is awesome. Okay. Now we just gotta figure out where she lives. <laughs> Well, I'm in Smithers and uh, tried to get my Wi Fi to work. What the hell is wrong with my phone? But it has ceased to work at all for me on any capacity. So, luckily, I was able to uh, talk to a nice guy that works here and uh, asked him to use his phone so I could call my sister. And uh, so he was nice and he called her up and said, Hey, you know, I got your brother here. And, and uh, Apparently I'm late. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I see the Royal Ed Enfield. Oh yeah? My old man used to, uh, when he was still alive, he had, years and years ago, he had what? Like a real old, like real old one. Oh yeah? And I heard that they uh, they came back out again. They, yeah, so they've been in North America, I think, since 2018 now or something like that. How do you like it? Absolutely love it. I just wrote it up in California. Oh yeah, right on. So, yeah. So after having another great roadside conversation with a fellow Royal Enfield Himalayan fan, my sister Janet showed up and uh, really saved the day. And I tell you, not a not a minute too soon either. I was getting pretty hungry. All right. Well, job, good trip. Thanks. All right. What are you doing? Oh, the cops on me and stuff. You were four hours late. It's only four hours. <laughs> Oh you God. see what I'm writing? Four? I mean, four hours overdue. I mean, you're lucky I wasn't four days. Well, you know what, though? People do that here because, you know, if someone says to be at that time. I was trying. Yeah, and that's okay, but that's what we do. So it's called a, a, um, a late arrival. Okay. Thing because there's so many accidents, bears, moose, all that oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I, I waited three and a half hours. And then I'm like, okay, I gotta put it in. My phone is completely quit working. <laughs> My card has completely quit working. Oh. I'm lucky I had $10 to put in the tank even. Oh. I haven't even been able to eat all day. It's like, okay. I'm, like things are falling apart, okay, but follow, I'm here. Follow me home. Okay. I'm glad you're today. Sarah, Sarah's like, make sure oh, I you bet tell she's freaking out, huh? Sure you tell him it was your idea to call. <laughs> like, but that's what we do. Like, do, okay. They do. We do. Um, yeah, I thought that would share 100%. No, 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 <laughs> no. Because here in the north, like, there's so many animals and there's accidents like crazy all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, if someone says I'm gonna be there, like after three hours, like without contact, even like, right? Like yeah. it's like that's unusual. So Dude, for I, us, I, it's I unusual. couldn't even tap it. I, I first went over here to Tim Hortons. <laughs> 
to try to get on their free Wi-Fi and it wouldn't even work. Oh my God. Nothing is working. <laughs> okay, well, you're here now. Okay, let follow me get ready. Follow me. Okay. Don't go too fast. Don't So after eight days of being on the road, I finally made it to Smithers to see Janet. <laughs> what a trip so far. I tell you, it has just been fantastic. Every day seems to be better than the last. I'm really glad I can share it with everybody because tomorrow, <laughs> well, you think I'm dancing now, wait till you see us tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for riding along. Oh, and if you haven't already, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, you might want to consider sharing it with a friend. They might like it too. Gotcha. And if you do all that, well, <laughs> we're going to have an adventure tomorrow. Thanks for riding along. Yeah, but you know what? It's been a fun for a day for a month. It's just a cold day.